Hey everyone, Mossy Ranch Backyard Farm. Uh, today is May 6th and it's a glorious day here in the Pacific Northwest and it's planting season. Uh, can pretty much, it's just about time where you can plant pretty much any crop you would like. Um, so I'm just gonna give you a little update of what's going on in uh, the yard. Most of the fruit trees are just about done blooming. Uh, we have a late pear here that's still kind of putting on a show, but we're starting to get our first uh, fruits of the season. And just uh, now is a good time to put out your pheromone traps uh, against codling moth and uh, um, just kind of keep an eye on your trees see if they have any diseases like on this espaliered pear I found a couple a few leaves that had that were kind of curled up and they um, have worms inside um, so just kind of pick those off and then I did have a couple leaves up here that had um, some rust so just make sure to pick all those off and uh, dispose of them uh, you can burn them don't put them in your compost pile but just uh, try to keep up like on disease management like for example this leaf here see how it's kind of just curled up if we kind of pick it let me open it up here you can see there was uh, just a larva here so just kind of keep an eye out for those and, um, and then you shouldn't just keep up with your spraying uh, use our, using organic sprays um, I tried not to even use those um, but I do use you know like during the dormant season just because here it's so moist we have so many uh, funguses and diseases so um, anyways just check out your fruit trees um, it's not quite time to uh, prune them yet but everything's growing good uh, the apples are just about done blooming they're starting to form uh, fruit we still have a couple that haven't opened up yet here but um, just really enjoying this time what a difference a month makes in the garden um, everything's just at its best right now um, so some crops that I'm just about done with uh, are my cabbages so in this bed I have some Napa cabbage which turned out huge and it's just great it's really tender uh, and I don't use any pesticides or anything so you do have a couple holes here from the moths but um, cabbage moths but I don't really mind uh, we have our ruby balls uh, cabbage coming up and uh, not quite sure what this cabbage is it's like a, just a spring uh, quick growing cabbage but it's just about to set the heads um, as soon as I clear out this bed here uh, and harvest all my cabbage uh, this is gonna be my bean bed uh, so yeah about mid-may I start uh, seeding my beans um, so I'm going to do a couple pole beans, but mostly Romano bush beans, because uh, those are my favorites. Uh, here we have some broccoli, um, and we put in our some of our tomatoes. You can probably wait uh, a little bit longer for tomatoes here in the northwest, but um, we had a great they had a great sale at the nursery, so dollar ninety nine for pretty good size. Um, tomatoes so I picked up a few this year I'm doing uh, Jubilee green zebra Kellogg's breakfast is a great yellow tomato early girl Willamette and um, big beef I believe in the back and uh, I'm gonna ha I have quite a few tomatoes up on the patio because that's where I get the most sun so um, yeah I probably have here Three, seven tomatoes. I probably have another seven up on the patio. It should be good on tomatoes this year. Uh, we have broccoli here. Uh, my ducks are running everywhere, getting chased by my dog, Sasha. Um, but anyways, broccoli. I love to eat the leaves. 
even more than the actual broccoli. Uh, you can just cook it up like you would like collard greens or uh, saute it. I just kind of boil it up um, like I do with the collards, but just not as long. And they're just so tender and just delicious. So um, I grow broccoli mainly for the greens. Um, we have our blueberries all in bloom. Uh, and over here, uh, we harvested already all our bok choys. I got about five and a half pounds of bok choy out of this little space. I already um, replanted and harvested romaine. Come here, Sasha. And uh, arugula and uh, just a bit of lettuce. My neighbor came yesterday and just... Uh, Sasha. And picked up um, some some salad for her dinner. Come on, Sasha. Leave them alone. The ducks are enjoying the yard. They're right at home. They do get quite scared of everything, so it's kind of annoying and fun to watch at the same time. Uh, other than them getting scared, they're not very loud and they don't really do anything, but <laughs> they just get really scared of a every little thing, but they've been eating slugs. They eat slugs all day long, so that's why I have them for, and it's working out great. Um, anyways, we got some of our broccoli here that's uh, interplanted with carrots, so as soon as uh, these broccolis are done, um, we got our carrots growing back there, and this whole row is gonna be uh, beans, mostly beans as well. Uh, I got my collards coming up very nicely back here. And I uh, got some Brussels sprouts, which I never had luck with them, um, but I thought I'd try them out, and they're working out great. Better in the spring than in the fall so far. Um, already harvested a, a lot of chard, and my beets are all coming up. And uh, just this whole bed is all just chard and beets, uh, just all greens. Uh, I love my cooked greens. so. Anyways, uh, it's just uh, here, mid-May, already harvested a lot of stuff, uh, ready for round two. I'm going to do this side here is going to be all peppers. Um, I can a lot of peppers. I usually use Hungarian wax and just some spicy uh, peppers because bell peppers don't quite do as well here. Um, they just, the season's not long enough for them. Um, to get nice and plump, so uh, I'd rather save room and grow some uh, hot chilies. And uh, I love my Italian roasters, and uh, like I said, uh, Hungarian and banana peppers are also really good. And this whole side's gonna be all beans. Um, we, we're gonna have a couple uh, pole beans growing up here on the fence. I have uh, some red noodles, and uh, I think it's Kentucky. And then as well as uh, have some purple and yellow Romano beans. Uh, so it's going to be kind of fun for the kids. Um, and other than that, just uh, almost ready for round two here. Uh, still too early for cucumbers. I just don't even bother until June with them. Um, I'm going to prepare my bed for my zucchinis and squash over there by the by my grapes and um, other than that we're just uh, moving along everything's fill it in, filling in nicely we have uh, we had some a great spring so a uh, really nice fruit set on all my uh, fruit trees and um, can't wait to start harvesting some fruit our first ones that are going to be up is going to be strawberries and I have some Nice plans to have some uh, strawberry and rhubarb pies to make. My rhubarbs are doing great uh, here. They really like that spot. So uh, until next time.